Hello everyone, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn loop and interleave controller in the JMeter. So let's begin. So what is the loop controller? So first let's understand this thing. What is loop controller? Okay. So as the name suggests, this is a loop. So it will loop your request. Now let's suppose, for example, you have added a thread group. Okay. Under that thread group, you are adding loop controller and under this loop controller you will be adding the request so you would be adding request one request two so when you add the loop controller you need to define how many times you need to loop these requests so for example if you set the counter as three this means that the request under this loop controller will execute three times right and if you have defined a loop count in the thread group as two so it will execute total six times so two into three that would be six so that's how that loop counter works now let's go to the jmeter and see how it works so here in the jmeter let's add a thread group under the thread group let's go to the add go to the logic controller go to the loop controller and once you add it you can see that we need to define the loop count here so i am adding some sample request under this loop counter let me copy and paste let me change the name to request one and request two now let me add one more request outside the loop controller okay so let me go here add go to this one and let me change the name to request outside the loop controller okay now we are set let me add a listener here so loop count here is let me change it to three right now the request one and request two will execute three times and the request outside the loop will execute once because we have this one loop and one thread here okay so let's execute this one let me save this as loop controller demo save this one and let's see so now you can see that the request outside the loop controller got executed only once because of this thread group and the request inside the loop controller got executed thrice one two three now go to this thread group here and change the thread group to two here and clean the request and run this again so here you will see that your request now because you have thread group two and that's why this two users or thread executed the same things here right now what you can do is that you can increase the loop count here as well now the loop count is two here and under the loop controller it's three so two into three this means six times and i am changing the threads to one here and clear the results and run it again so it will be total six times you can see let me run this again and you can see the results okay that's how it works now go back to the notepad here and now understand what is interleave controller controller okay 
So basically interleaf controller alternates the request inside and outside of the thread group. So what this means is that, for example, you have a thread group. Under the thread group, you have interleaf controller and inside that you have request one then you have request two and out of that you have another request called request request three so when you execute this one based on the number of iterations so let me add one more request to make it more clear so request three here and let me change name here to four so when you run this particular script so what it will do is that you need to define here the number of iterations let's suppose three iterations three iterations means three loops right so in the first loop what happens is that the output will look like something this outcome so it will execute request one then come out of the leaf controller and execute request four for the first loop it means for first iteration so in iteration one, iteration one, so the output would be request one and then it will come out of the interleaf controller and execute the request four. And similarly for iteration two, it will execute and this time it will take the second alternate request. So this means now request Two, then request four in the similar way let me copy this one from here and paste it here now this time it would be three and four so that's how this interleave controller works in the JVT. so tomorrow if you want to make some scenario where you want to hit one request then this request this can be home request so for example let me change the name here so that it would make more sense for example this is your profile okay now this can be your um, add to cart and let me change this to maybe add friend and and this is under the leaf controller and the request for here, which is outside this one, is well, assume that this is home page. So how now this will work? So first it will hit the profile, then it will go to the home page. Then it will again in the second addition it will come to the add to cart, then home page, then add to friend, then home page. So if you want to populate such kind of a scenario, you can do that using the interleaf controller now let's go to the jmeter and let me open the new script here add thread group under the thread group go to the logic controller go to the interleaf controller here and let me add more request go to http let me copy this one this one so we have multiple requests here so let me see this one as and this request belongs to profile this belongs to add to at front and this means um, add add product to the cart okay and we have these three requests and now I'm adding one more request out of this and changing this to home page right now we have created the scenario let me add 
a listener here and let's execute this one but before that as we suggested as we discussed already that this interleaf controller will work with the iteration so i have three requests i need to alternate between these three requests with the home page so what i need to do is that i need to go here i need either three and three or one and three combination so let's run this one save this one and let me call it, it as interleaf demo save this one so now you can see that first it hit the profile then home page add friend then home page right then add product to the cart and then home page so that's how it works and in case if i remove the loop count here so what it will do now so let's execute this one so you can see it executed one iteration and for one iteration the script went to the profile then come out of it and hit the home page so that's how this interleave controller works thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial thank you so much